I went to school. I'm not a fool. My hobbies are here. First things first. How many people went to St. Joseph's College, Layibi? These are rebels. Please get their faces right. When my father mentioned Layibi, I told myself, yo, you're going to the biggest school. There is something about studies nowadays and studies back then. Nowadays, you take your child to cradle. The, the children you find there, very young, their age is actually matching with their class and where they are. This wasn't the case when I first touched down in Layibi. In Layibi, you could not predict who was a cook, who was, a chi who was the headmaster, and who was a senior for. You could not also predict who is a gate man, because most people, all of them, had beards. My first day at Layibi College, I was welcomed. The year is not important. <laughs> Matter of fact, for you, you did not study there, I know. So, yeah, my first day at school was terrible because I entered the gate and the first person I greeted, sir, may I know the dormitory for senior one? The person really looked like a teacher and he welcomed me in a very good voice. You look very young. Welcome to St. Joseph's College, Lajibi. Our motto is Melias Atikutilias. Please come, I take you to the dormitory. As we were going, three people rushed for my basin. <laughs> Two were on my case, trying to already open the case. I said, sir, see what they are doing. He said, no, it's how they, they welcome people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I lost my basin before reaching the dormitory. As I was approaching the dormitory, a very fat man came to me and said, you, have you submitted your pocket money to the school bus, sir? I said, no, sir. He said, pull it up and give it here. Here is a piece of paper. Put your name. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before entering the dormitory, 50,000. Now, for me, I lost everything basically in two days. Now, this is how terrible the environment was. The senior ones, you know that lousy week when you get to school. That lousy week when you don't ask anything, they come, they take you for prep and they ask you, you read the Bible. <laughs> what they say, read your PLE past leaves. My first day at school sounded terrible, but not like three days later. A very smart gentleman walked to our class, senior one read, and said, Senior ones, my name is Mr. Ojok Tony, while sipping milk. I am your class master, and I've been sent by the administrators to register all your basins and other belongings, but priority basins, because we want you to continue bathing for as long as you're in Lahibi <laughs> College. It has come to our notice in the annual AGM, which I didn't understand by them, AGM, what it meant, that the senior force here love stealing basins. So we've developed a system where we register your basin, we keep in the staff room, and in the evening by 5 p.m., you pick the basins as you go to shower and you return to the staff room. Ladies and gentlemen, this gentleman sent us to the dormitory. Everyone brought their basin brought a cheat say, write your name, the color of your person, and how many persons? Others, of course, had two, three. So I brought, I brought for my neighbor, because mine was already stolen. I wrote, I registered in my name. I thought I was very sharp. Everyone wrote. On finishing, he carried his milk and started walking outside the school compound with the person. One of the senior ones asked him, said, sir, but the staff 
bathroom is the other side. He said, yes, but the store is down the other side. He peacefully went with the basin. Ladies and gentlemen, three days later, no bathing. We went to the administrators to strike. How are basin? How are basin? How are basin? The headmaster came and said, what is this all about? Said, Sir Ojok Tony took our basin, but he has not given us and we've not bathed in three days. They said, which Sir Ojok are you talking about? <laughs> the administrator looked at all the teachers and asked, he said, Deputy, is there any Sir Ojok that you've employed without my notice? It was at that point that we realized Ojok was a senior for. He peacefully carried the basins, went. Ladies and gentlemen, Ojok had beards. He had some little dreadlocks. Three weeks later, returned to school without the dreadlocks, without the beards. We, the senior one, read, see him. And me, boldly, I moved to him. I said, Ojok, our basin. Ojok turns to me and starts crying. These guys have punished us. They took my basin. I've been suffering. Now I look like a senior boy, yet I'm in senior one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen,